magical New York City. The glamorous Plaza Hotel, Elite Model Management presents the 1991 Look of the Year contest. The Look of the Year contest is the ultimate contest for women that want to go all the way in the modeling business. Featuring 58 of the world's most beautiful young women competing for more than $700,000 in prizes. Wow. Chance of a dream come true. Career as one of modeling's superstars. <laughs> we'll take you behind the scenes and onto the runway. You see the fun, feel the excitement. You'll pick your favorite along with our panel of expert and celebrity judges. You'll enjoy front row VIP seats at our gala evening. One of these contestants will be selected as the girl with the look of the year. Don't forget that one of them is going to be coronated into the queen today. The look of the year, 1991. Look of the Year is an international model search that has introduced many of today's superstar models to the fashion community and the world at large for the very first time. It all began in 1983 in glamorous Acapulco, Mexico. A Look of the Year tradition was begun when three of today's most famous faces made their debut. My name is Stephanie Seymour and I come from San Diego, California. Frederique van der Waal was our winner. Frederique quickly went from contestant to cover girl, as did many other girls from that year. In 1986, our show took place in Forte de Marmi on the sunny Italian Riviera. When it was all over, we had our youngest winner ever, Maria Linguist from Sweden. In addition, we also got our first glimpse of future superstars, Elaine Irwin and Karen Mulder. The magic of Italy made an impression none of our contestants will ever forget. In 1987, the contest took place in Taormina, Sicily. American Debbie Chin, who had entered the previous year and not even made the regional finals, was our winner. In 1988, our contestants explored the Orient. The water spa town of Atami, Japan, was our host. The victory belonged to lovely Kelly Brown from Omaha, Nebraska. Megan Douglas and Kate Fisher were also among the finalists. And despite the competition, we still found time for plenty of fun. In 1989, we moved from fashionable resort to one of the world's fashion capitals when Paris hosted our contest. The winner was 15-year-old Ines Sastre from Spain, who immediately landed three leading roles in feature films, dozens of magazine covers, and a fragrance contract. Not too bad, considering that at the same time, she managed to graduate from high school with honors. We asked Ines, one of this year's judges, what it takes to be a top model. You have to work, but you know, you have to, you have, to have a lot of motivation. And you have to be disciplined and, and sometimes serious because you, have, you are all the time with the luggage and traveling and, and you have to be, you know, strong in your, in your mind. Last year, we began our event on the beautiful beaches of Brazil in Rio de Janeiro. And we concluded our gala in Sao Paulo. Once again, our winner was from Holland. Wendy Veldhuis had never modeled before and had been entered by a friend in the contest without her knowledge. A magazine representative saw her at our show and took her directly to North Africa for a shoot. She's been working steadily ever since. Wendy offered some advice to this year's contestants. 
the most important thing is that you don't lose yourself. If you lose yourself, you lose your mind, and if you lose your mind, you, you won't be able to keep up in this business very long. Don't try to become a model. You either are a model or you're not. If you're not, just try to become something else. Above all else, the Look of the Year is a comprehensive program for discovering fresh new faces from every corner of the world. The girl next door can enter and get the experience and exposure she needs to send her to the top of the highly competitive world of modeling. Tonight, in New York City, we welcome our 58 contestants, knowing that some of these as yet undiscovered faces will soon be a part of our everyday lives follow in the footsteps of these former contestants. Hotel in New York City. Here is the Mayor of New York, the Honorable David Dinkins. I am delighted to be here this evening on behalf of all New Yorkers to welcome you to our city and to thank you for selecting New York as the site of your Look of the Year 1991 International Model Search Contest. I know now that you're anxious and eager to get on with this evening's festivities and to learn who will win the Look of the Year contest. Good luck. God bless you. Keep the faith. And now, here are the hopes for the Look of the Year contest. One of today's top models, Naomi Campbell, and the chairman of the board of Elite, John Casablanca. Hello, John. Hello, everybody. All right, Naomi, do you think the girls are ready to get started? Awesome. I think they are, John, and they just can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the top 58 contestants for the Look of the Year. Kimmy Anderson, Dawn Goodsight from Hawaii, USA, and Vita Zukoska from Ontario, Canada. From Iceland, Ron Johansson, Heidi Sone Hamid from Malaysia, and Amy Benzio from the USA. Ingrid Sanghava from Belgium, and from Brazil, Andrea de Oliveira. From Israel, Chimrit Malik and Gina Fratarkanjali from the USA. Marta Ortega from Burgos, Spain. Milena Salvemini from Naples, Italy. Ray Nagano from Osaka, Japan. Belinda Hutter from Lohau, Austria. From Czechoslovakia, Bertina Lovata and Amy Herme from Holland. Lisa Sutar from Alberta, Canada, and Hendrik Molin from Denmark. Monica Suchewska from England and Angela Rukas from the USA. Roma Dinas from Quebec, Canada. Kate Dillon. California, USA. Sandra Tavares da Silva from Portugal. And Sarah Hughes from New Zealand. Stacy Wilk from Kentucky, USA. Jen Miranda from Ontario, Canada. Sarah Taylor from France. And Gabrielle Friedman from British Columbia. Pamela Barnett from Utah. And Jennifer Jordan from Michigan. Both from the USA. Stephanie DeLeo from Holland and Bonnie Delfos from Australia. Agatha Olkovic from Holzminden, Germany. Jennifer Diaz from Caracas, Venezuela. 
Randy Kuzmak from Manitoba, Canada, and Lydia Milosevic from Florida, USA. Juliana Volk from Ontario, Canada, and Ellie Nessa from Norway. Ravijandi Basufi from Indonesia, and Yona Shoblad from Finland. Ira Kiss from Hungary, and Marie Frostaman from Sweden. Courtney Kling from Michigan, and Patricia DuPont from Florida, USA. Elisa Etchart from California, USA, and Irina Torchinskaya from Russia. Jenny Gray from Georgia, USA. Jenny Balazzino from Greece, and from France, Mary Lou Denegri. Tamara Sedmak from Switzerland, and Valeria Caldas from Argentina. Yelena Murden from Yugoslavia, and Ruby Martin from Kentucky, USA. Yolanda Roman from Florida, USA. Jaraslyn Wang from Singapore. Stephanie Woods from New Jersey, USA. Maya Rabin from Israel. And from Russia, Tatiana Motsigova. There they are, the 58 contestants for the look of the year. We'll be back with more of the competition right after this. Welcome back to the look of the year. Once again, here's John Casablancas to introduce tonight's judges. Ladies and gentlemen, our first judge, the president of Elite New York, Monique Villard. Our next judge is the chief operating officer and director of account manager for one of the world's largest advertising agencies, Lintas New York. He is Stone Roberts. This judge is an internationally known photographer and an authority on beauty. He's also the personal photographer of the Princess of Wales, Mr. Patrick de Marchelier. A model and actress with unparalleled personal experience with the Look of the Year contest. She was the winner in 1989 from Spain, Inés Sastre. Best known personalities in the city of New York and probably in the United States and our host here at the plaza since he owns the place, the president of the Trump Organization, Mr. Donald Trump. <laughs> our last winner of the look of the year and since she won a model very much in demand from Holland, Wendy Velhuis. From the world of entertainment, the Emmy Award winning master magician, my friend David Copperfield. <laughs> the president of Elite Europe, who coordinates the efforts of the elite offices on the continent, Mr. Gérald Marie. The chairman of the cosmetic giant Maybelline, our prime sponsor for the look of the year, here is Robert McKeon. And finally, please welcome a sports legend and the national spokesperson for athletes and entertainers for kids, Mr. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Tonight's judging is the culmination of an international model search involving more than 300,000 entrants, begun almost a year ago. All of tonight's contestants have won national finals, conducted in over 32 countries around the globe. Once they arrived in New York, 
the 58 contestants participated in an exhaustive round of personal interviews designed to help our judges discover what makes each one special. The five nine reading? Yeah. Serious, huh? We weigh measure again tonight before the Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Amy. The concentration was intense inside the judging room. They don't like you as you are. And out. Each girl was considered not only for her beauty and poise, but also for her personality and that indefinable something extra that makes a top model. Okay, you want to pull your hair back one second? Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Ingrid. Good luck for tonight. Thank you. When it came time to choose the 21 finalists, emotions ran high as each judge expressed his or her opinion. You, you said she was the best, and I said, yeah. No, 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 I said, no, I said, no, I At last, the decisions were made and the envelope was sealed. Let's meet our 21 finalists. And as you pick your favorites, keep in mind that our winner will take home a modeling contract worth over $150,000. Our first finalist is from Czechoslovakia, Martina Lovaya. I didn't think like half year ago that I can see New York, you know, it was like a big dream and so many people from my country, they cannot see it in whole their life. Back home, Martina's a medical student, but when she got to New York, she left her studies behind. Elisa Edgehart from California, USA. Elisa uses every inch of her 5'11 height when she's playing her favorite sport, basketball. When we asked her to predict the outcome of the contest, she was stumped. I, I don't know who would win tonight. There's so many. They all look pretty to me. I, I'm glad I'm not a judge. <laughs> Yelena Murden from Zrenzeling, Yugoslavia. Yelena took time out to make friends with the natives and found her looks arresting. Hedvig Molen from Copenhagen, Denmark. Energetic Hedvig was in motion throughout the four days of our competition. We got tired just trying to keep up with her. Melinda Hutter from Lochau, Austria. For me, it's a win to be here. It's nice to stay at the plaza and see New York. <laughs> skyscrapers and so on and met with all nice people so I'm happy about that and that's for me that's the prize Ingrid Sanghaver from Menem, Belgium Ingrid came well prepared for the contest with a fluency in four languages a wardrobe that would turn heads on any beach, and a terrific attitude. Tamara Sedmak from Rieden, Switzerland. For 15-year-old Tamara, being in New York had a special appeal. Switzerland. Uh, uh, you don't uh, know the night. Tamara certainly got to know the night during our contest. And the night got reasonably friendly with Tamara as well. Randy Kuzma from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Randy is one of the many contestants in the look of the year who plans on using her modeling career as a stepping stone to a college education. Irina Torchinskaya from 
St. Petersburg, Russia. I love this coffee Chanel like model. I try to be like model, but I haven't big experience like model. I hope what I will to have work like model here because I, I won't work here. Elena Salvinini from Naples, Italy. Elena hopes to one day make it big in Italy's fashion capital, Milan. Elena's warmth and charm came through in everything she did. California, USA. If I could be anywhere in New York right now, I'd be a CBGB. It's going to see some hardcore show. <laughs> Sorry, Kate. CBGB's isn't on the agenda. But winning might be. How would she feel if she got the nod? I'll be stoked. It'd be really cool. You win a lot of money. It'd be really, really neat. <laughs> Maya Robin. Rishon, Israel. Maya's experience as a dancer was definitely an asset during the competition. When it came time to move, Maya always did it with her own special grace. Lisa Souter from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. One of eight Canadians in the contest, Lisa enjoyed strong support from back home. My friends and family are all very happy that I'm in the middle of the year. Since I got here, I've called my boyfriend four times. <laughs> Jennifer Diaz from Caracas, Venezuela. Back home, Jennifer's a law student left her books at home when it came time to dress up for a night on the town. Yolanda Roman from Miami, Florida, USA. Yolanda wasn't crazy about the idea of getting her hair cut for our contest. Once she got out of the dance floor, she began to appreciate the virtues of short hair. Bonnie Delphos from Cypress Garden, Australia. Like many of our contestants, Bonnie played tennis on a court specially erected for us in front of the Plaza Hotel. Unfortunately, lessons weren't included. Jen Miranda from Thornhill, Ontario, Canada. Lovely Jen spent her free time showing us all the latest dance moves. Okay, let me vote. Tatiana Mozegova from St. Petersburg, Russia. After being shown around New York for a week, Tatiana felt ready to take us on a tour of her own. We just start here up in the dances and liberty. Uh, liberty. Liberty. Gina Fratarkanjali from Michigan, USA. Gina has been president of her high school class three times and captain of the volleyball, basketball, and soccer teams. Gina's athletic abilities paid off in our special road race to run in Central Park. Don't do the training of my chaperone. She taught me everything here now. Amy Bendio from Seattle, Washington, USA. Amy looks very calm and collected. Does she ever get the jitters? Before I go out on the runway, I always think, oh, I'm going to fall. I'm going to walk off the end. I'm going to do something crazy. And they're all going to laugh. <laughs> I'm going to be sent home or something. 
M.A. Hermé from Utrecht, Holland. For M.A., the contest was a great opportunity to find out about America. I've never been to America, so it's the first time. There is no swimming pool. No swimming pool. Okay, we're going home. We're going home, back out. No, that's impossible. But everybody's got a swimming pool here. There they are, the 21 finalists for the look of the year. We'll take you behind the scenes when we return right after this. Welcome back to the 1991 Look of the Year contest. Let's go backstage for an exclusive look behind the scenes. All right, so good morning. I'll try to speak slowly. It's three days so before the gala that. final event. John Casablancas briefs the 58 contestants who are assembled for the first time. We don't intend to cut hair in a sadistic way, okay? So don't freak out, don't get nervous. The team of experts from Pierre Michel Salon work together to bring out each girl's down, down. distinctive style. It must be like a laboratory. Right. Everybody's looking at you. But she needs some angles. The thing is that, it's, it's that she's got such a great style with this type of look. But it's one look. It's one look, that's it. And, and if you shorten it, I think it would uh, do something a little bit more modern with a car. Hi, Slam. It's really because you have to make an effort of imagination. Like the first year when uh, uh, there was uh, a Stephanie Seymour when she was she was 14. She was a, a skinny little thing. I mean, to try to imagine how what she could be, you have to really like it. <laughs> Man, you shaved a little. I know. Leave it as long. A length looks great. Give it a cut. It's yes. your style. Yeah. So it's a choice. Exactly. How do you feel with shorter hair? Do you like it? A little below your chin. Oh, okay. Sorry. The moment the consultations are over, the makeovers begin. Look at how the how the eye opens here, how beautifully it opens, and look at how it is on the other side. I guess the the premise of this whole competition is to have the look of the 90s, or the look of the year, not necessarily the most beautiful. It's not a beauty pageant. Uh, it's a girl that captures a nude look, as Cindy Crawford did, or uh, Elaine Irwin. Each one of these girls that were the look that started that look. All right. <clears throat> Each girl is fitted in creations from 14 of New York's hottest young designers who are competing for their own award, the Plaza Elite Fashion Award, to be presented by Linda Evangelista a little later in our broadcast. <laughs> After a hard day's work, the waiting fleet of elite limousines whisks the girls off for an evening of fun, excitement, and glamour. What better way to see Manhattan than on a cruise aboard the Spirit of New York? The ever-present paparazzi took advantage of the numerous photo opportunities, and everyone was entranced by the views. Despite the long day behind them and the work that lay ahead, the girls just didn't want to quit. Next morning, the girls are back at work. Turn together, do it again. They are coached by the president of the elite runway division, Ellen Hart, and her team of runway experts, including Anna Bailey, Mariana Verkert, okay. and Belinda okay. Sawyer. Relax this upper body. Smile for <laughs> It's better for you. That's great. Look at this. That's wonderful. We are going to go through the whole show. After a full day of work, the girls get a pep talk in words they can all understand. The more you concentrate, the quicker we'll get it over with, and the quicker you get to bed. Quand vous demande, c'est de vous concentrer bien pour que dans 35, 40 minutes, tout le monde puisse aller se coucher. Mañana, cuando van a aprender los pasos precisos, ya tendrán una buena idea 
de lo que es el programa general. Okay. Ya habéis capito el sentido general del show, ¿ok? Gracias. Ok, traigo. La música va a venir and then Amy is going to be the first girl. Go, 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 go. Ryan Johansson from somewhere. Sarah Taylor from France. They work long into the night, trying to perfect the all-important runway walk. What do you think? Do you have a favorite yet? My favorite? Yeah. Of course, the ones that I worked on. Yeah, right. <laughs> but there are a few girls that I think are really great. But I don't even remember their names. Oh, Ale, um, what's this Russian girl down there? What's well, the Italian has a chance. The Yugoslav has a chance. The Czechoslovak has a chance. How about the One of the Russian girl has a chance. And the Belgian girl. I bet you it's going to be a blonde. Oh, and Amy from Holland with the short hair. I hope somebody's going to win tonight anyway. Uh -huh. That's for sure. <laughs> As the final moments tick away, Malik's experts apply the finishing touches to the contestants. Let's rejoin John and Naomi on stage for the presentation of the Plaza Elite Designer Award. I'm here to present the award as one of the greatest superstars, Linda Evangelista. I am really proud to be able to present this award to our talented designer. The nominees are Anna Sui, Badgley Mishka, Byron Lars, Gordon Henderson, Isani, Jennifer Bauden, John Scher, Catherine Dianos, Nicole Miller, Richard Mishan, Stephen Stolman, Sylvia Heisel, Bea Anima, Zhang Toy. The winner of the Plaza Look of the Year Fashion Award is Anna Sweet. Thank you very much. Thank you. The 58 girls are returning to the stage for the presentation of the next award, the Maybelline Best Eyes Award. Here to present it is the President and Chief Executive Officer of Maybelline, Mr. Robert Hyatt. Thank you. Thank you. Maybelline's proud to sponsor the look of the year. Our company's products have always been associated with beauty. We've certainly been surrounded with beauty here. It's my pleasure to present the Maybelline Most Beautiful Eyes Award. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> and the winner is Tatiana Otsugova of Leningrad. come to find out who our 10 finalists are going to be. But remember that, as in past years, we expect that most of our contestants will become professional models and that many of the ones who will not win tonight may go on to spectacular modeling careers as well. Throughout this evening, our judging criteria have been beauty, personality, grace, and sense of style, and overall modeling potential. Mr. Tanton, name it. 
Okay, in no particular order, the name of our 10 finalists are? Hedvig Rulan. Hedvig Molin from Denmark. I always dreamed about when I was little to be a mother. And now it's become true, <laughs> my dream. Martina Lavata, Martina, from Czechoslovakia. I know a lot of people who are very beautiful inside and of course it shows outside, you know? So maybe for you it's not the beautiful person, you know? Maybe for you it's not the look of the year, but for me it is. I love uh, uh, clothes, uh, nice clothes and uh, photographs and I've never been model. I mean, everybody wants to win, I guess, but I don't think, I think everyone's kind of just honored to be here. Everybody's very beautiful, though. I mean, there's every, it's, it's more than just the way you look, but it's why you win. Randy Kuzma. The look of your contest is to give new girls a chance to to come out and show their faces and other girls to win money and just to get out there. Ingrid Senjab. Beautiful is being yourself. I think I be myself. I, I talk to everybody. I I love to do this. It's not going to change because your model is a profession like every, every other profession. Jennifer Diaz, Jennifer from Venezuela. I like it. Irina Toshiskaya. I want to be a model uh, because I've been like teacher in my city, I've been like dancer in my city. Now I try like model because it's a nice professional. I hope that I will come back uh, with um, big name. Milena Savini.
Tatiana Musova. Motsegova, Tatiana. Actually, one day I like to be upstairs there and I like to see whole New York from one very high place. I think uh, this is going to be another great experience in my life. Okay. As a fellow model, I would like to congratulate our 10 finalists. And to those of you who didn't win, this is not the last we'll be seeing of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, young lady. When we come back, top 10 final judging in outfits by Azadine Alaya. Welcome back to the look of the year. Our contest benefits a special charity, Athletes and Entertainers for Kids. Representing this worthy cause is basketball superstar Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Athletes and Entertainers for Kids is an umbrella group that has uh, several different uh, charity functions that uh, happen uh, around the year. Uh, we work in a couple of different cities and uh, we try to uh, help kids in a lot of different ways. We have uh, outreach programs, uh, trying to reach kids, help them stay in school. We have uh, programs that involve uh, work with uh, retarded children, uh, abused children, things of that nature. John Casablancas and Elite work with the group throughout the year. Before the contest began, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar assisted by fellow basketball great Charles Oakley, presented John and Donald Trump with the Heroes Award in recognition of their fundraising efforts. Now, along with Kareem and the rest of our judges, let's take one last look at our 10 finalists. At Big Molen, Copenhagen, Denmark. Just hello. I want to understand. Martina Lovato, Sawa, Czechoslovakia. Thank you. 
Torchinskaya, St. Petersburg, Russia. Tatiana Mozidova, St. Petersburg, Russia. Okay, Naomi, would you please go over and get the envelope for Mr. Tanton? All right. The second runner-up. Of the Plaza Look of the Year International Model Search is Kate Dillon. <laughs> $75,000 contract. The first runner-up who wins a $100,000 contract with Elite is Tatiana Motsegova from USSR. From the USSR. Okay, and the winner of a 150,000 first prize, and the girl with the look of the year 1991, Ingrid Sinhaver from Belgium.